Greetings fellow users of the internet. Today I have come down to the coast of Kamakura and as you can probably tell from my hair it is incredibly hot and incredibly humid. I've come here hoping to photograph the sunset. I just found this place on Google Maps yesterday while I was at work so I don't know exactly what composition I'm going with. The search begins now so let's go. As usual I've gotten here far far earlier than I needed to but I did this on purpose. I noticed on Google Maps that I saw some rocks in the ocean. I'm gonna try and do some minimalistic shots today, some super high, high key, high key-ish long exposure photography. I already found my sunset spot, not loving. The crows here are insanely loud. Anyway, as I was saying, I found my composition for sunset, not in love with it, but it shall do. Until then, let's work on some super long exposure minimalist photos. Alright, quality downgrade, which you know what that means. It means my camera is set up, the composition is ready, and I'm actually taking the photo right now. <laughs> but it is so windy, you can probably tell that. So I have to stand in front of my camera to reduce camera shake because my tripod is pretty sturdy but we're on a very rocky beach which is really reducing the level of sturdiness on my tripod. Am I entirely blown out in this take? I don't know, probably. So quick breakdown of my camera settings for this shot. I'm going for an eight and a half minute exposure at f11, ISO 100 of course. We're gonna see how that looks. Of course, you'll get to see it in a few seconds. I have to wait about another eight and a half minutes and then I have to process it. So let's hope it turns out well. If it did, here it is. I think that turned out quite well based on the preview of my camera. Moving on to the second composition. There's actually a lot of people here now. I think there's some kind of photo shoot going on. So hopefully they'll leave soon so I can have the beach back to myself. But either way, you got to share the nature. On to my third composition now. My camera is in a really, really precarious position, but luckily I'm standing in front of this big rock here, which is providing a lot of protection from the wind. So I don't have to stand in front of my camera or anything like that. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm going for yet another eight and a half minute exposure. This time I had to go down to F7.1, I think it was. I'm bad with F-stops but I'm around F7, and that should help me capture the smoothness in the water here. Another thing I wanna talk about is exactly how I'm exposing this photo now. Typically, when you're doing landscape shots, you want to expose for the highlights. However, I'm going for more of a high-key look, and I've never done this kind of photography before, but based on the appearance of the photos I've seen, and so far the outcome of the photos I've taken, what you actually wanna do is reverse that. You wanna start exposing for the shadows because you want your sky and you want the water to be totally blown out for this kind of photo. And then when you get back home, you can make some fine adjustments. That's just my assumption. I've taken a few photos and they've turned out well so far. So that's what I'm gonna continue doing. If you have any advice that I'm doing this completely wrong, feel free to share or comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong and you know how bad I am at this. But so far, things are turning out good. Here's the next photo. just walking around the rocks here and this is absolutely a long exposure photographer's paradise. There's just composition after composition after composition. I'm just running around like a madman trying to find as many compositions as I can find before the sun goes down. Luckily I got here super super early which gives me a lot more time to do that. 
so you're going to be seeing a lot more of these in the future i think while i'm waiting for yet another exposure to finish i want to talk a little bit about something that thomas heaton has also talked about and that's intimate landscapes and using a longer lens to zoom in on the details now where i am right now you could easily easily use like a 10 millimeter lens and just snap all these rocks boom done but what i've done is i've zoomed in using my 17 to 50 mil, mil, eh, 17 to 50 millimeter to zoom in on each rock which has given me about five compositions from just this one spot down here I have not moved my tripod. I've just turned it a little, zoomed in or zoomed out, and I've had about five different compositions. So that's just to say, when you have a landscape, you don't have to get it all in one shot. You can zoom in those details and you can get lots of shots from one spot. Uh, this last shot I'm trying to get from this spot is super, Super frustrating. I'm using my 70 to 300 millimeter and it's zoomed in quite a bit. I'd say about maybe a hundred millimeters. So the smallest shake is going to show up and I've tried taking it three separate times. The first time it was really shaky because I guess some wind hit it or maybe I pushed the trigger a little too quickly. The second time was slightly overexposed because the light is constantly changing here. And the third time I decided to go manual focus and when I was putting on the ND filter, I guess I adjusted that focus. So it was completely, completely out of focus. So I'm going for attempt number four. If this doesn't work, I think I might just curl up in a ball and cry. <laughs> Mm, attempt number five. I'm fairly confident I got it that time, so moving on to a different lens, I 10 to 20 millimeter. We're going to try a nice wide shot in a different location. I know I just told you to shoot like super long, but hey, I brought my wide angle lens. Why not give it a shot? All right, my last shot didn't turn out quite as good as I had hoped. I think it's becoming quite clear that as the sun is setting and the light is fading, you can kind of see behind me here, the sun is in fact pretty much behind the clouds. Where's the sun? There it is. So because of that, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more of those kind of high key, super long exposures. This is a real exercise in tripod trust. Originally, I came here to photograph the sunset, but it's clear I'm not getting one. So I think I'm gonna pack up pretty soon and I'm actually gonna head home. So unless something else comes up, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen today, you can follow me on Instagram and you can subscribe to me on YouTube. You can be subscriber number 10, unless I've gotten one subscriber since I filmed this, which is possible, but not likely. Anyway, thanks for watching.